Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Jeanette. In this video, I want to practice drawing. I'm going to use my Faber Castell watercolor pencils. Those are just the black pencils or graphite pencils. And I thought I'd take you along with me. I have my pencil, I have an eraser here, and I also have my water brush pen nearby, which I will use later to get a not a special effect, I know, but let's start. So the first one I won't be using a reference. A reference? That sounds wrong. I don't know. But maybe for the other ones. I don't know. I actually enjoy drawing heads or upper bodies just around my desk when I on uh, leftover pieces of paper which I used for lettering not really a, I don't know if you have seen my uh, favorite brush pen video I actually like kind of it's kind of like doodling I would say or scribbling and um, I just enjoy kind of using a piece of paper which is not supposed to look good or Oh, I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> um, wait, I have one here. It's cut. No, I don't. Wait. Something like this, you know. So I did doodle along there and I just grab a pencil or a colored pencil or whatever and start drawing. And mostly it's just hats. It's kind of like the word hey, if you have seen the video of my favorite brush pens. That's a weird nose. I was thinking maybe I should also, not in this video though, um, practice the facial features more because I'm, I don't know, not my th uh, strength. But as long as you can recognize it's a face, it's just, it's kind of like, kind of like an answer. It doesn't have to be good. You just need to know what it is. I'm not even sure if I do have an art style yet. Although my faces look pretty similar. This is where I probably mostly go off. Where I'm way too close and then the hat looks giant. Okay, so... Actually, I want it to straight down. Usually I draw more of an angle because then I, I don't know, it's easier than uh, from up front. But actually, I, I mean, I didn't even want to draw the upper body. Oh, I thought, I think I said I want to draw the upper body as well. I don't know. It's actually kind of funny if you look in my sketchbooks um, because you see, maybe it's the same for you, I don't know, let me know in the comments, but those parts where I'm more, comfortable, uh, more comfortable, comf confident, oh my gosh, I can't talk, um, I draw usually lighter and then those parts where I don't have that much practice. I go over and over and over it again and so it gets really thick, although here it seems to stay pretty light. Alright, and um, wait, this is the arm actually. Maybe I can like have the arm more go like a little bit. No, this looks off. To use another. This one erases a little bit better. I kind of like a belt here. Is that still in frame? No. I don't know. Wait. 
don't know what that's supposed to be. I want to kind of like a bot let you make a knot into it and have it around. Then I want this dress to be a little poofy over here. No, I don't like the pose. It looks a little bit sharp and red, but not confident. Try lifting the shoulders a little bit. Maybe this helps. Maybe not at all. I mean, it's also kind of the the hat facing down, probably. Well. Yeah, I want kind of like some movement of the dress. Okay, I... <laughs> this is not art pose. Alright, I still need hair. Let me just erase the sketch lines first. I mean, I could put... wait. I can simply switch it on top of this. Yeah. Gonna darken up some more lines. Wait, he's still here. Uh, now what I want to do is kind of shade a little bit with a line. So line shading basically. <laughs> Alright. And now I'm gonna add the water and that's actually the fun part. Because I mean a sketch does actually look good, especially like if you can sketch unlike me. Unlike me, if you didn't get that wrong. Um, but, although, to be honest, I'm not that... I'm actually pretty happy with my sketches. Because it's just kind of like a progress, and you'll get better each time you practice. But I think this watercolor effect just makes it part more... Makes it look sketchier, does that make sense? I don't know just add something to it or at least that's my opinion I mean you could say still say okay that looks pretty bad but I'm actually pretty happy with that by the way I'm using a uh, not normal copy paper it's the thicker smooth paper uh, I forgot how strong it is but it's not the thin copy paper, it's actually the paper I use for hand lettering. Which is, um, it is thick enough that it can actually hold the water, or not hold the water, but you can add water without it getting kind of, I think thin paper kind of gets translucent or it gets this uh, freckles or spots or whatever. Um, and this can actually handle the water but you can't use it really for water coloring because it won't hold the water so it will dry kind of like immediately not completely but um it just doesn't give you the watercolor effects that you want with the watercolor so But it's also nice for hand lettering and blending with hand lettering. Just gonna thicken up lines. And I'm thinking, oh, I might ruin this right now. But I'm actually mm -hmm. thinking about adding color to this. I could use watercolors, but let's stay on the brand. I'm gonna, I don't know. I got these and now I want to use those. I mean, I could simply also use watercolors for this, but if I already have them, why not using them?
Uh, the cool thing about these is, oh, can also be a disadvantage, that they are water-based, which means you can, I mean, those are um, not like normal water-based inks. Those are, I think, India inks. Which means they are, they are water-based for those pants. I'm not sure if that's generally for India inks, but I, was, I would su uh, suppose. But they are water-based, but still waterproof. Which means if I get a dock line here, I can't blend it. Actually, I want to use this advantage because like here I could also use watercolors and get the same effect. Or a similar effect. And so I want to use them where I can't use watercolors. And I could use them, for example, line art. And have like not a fine liner as a line art. I, I, mean, I could use a fine liner, but... I could use those to get this line art in the skin color and in the same uh, color value I have kind of like the skin so I don't have a completely off color without the line art getting destroyed because it's waterproof. So I'm not going all the way down. Alright, but for the hair, I don't know, I like this pinkish color. I don't want it this dark. And this is watercolor right now. <laughs> Actually, I just wanted a hint of color at the hair. Well, it doesn't matter. And I think there might be also a little bit of metallic watercolors in there. Not sure, but I think. What color do I use for the dress? I mean, blue, I don't know. I don't think it fits too well with the... I mean, it could go purple. I actually want some kind of peachy look. Wait. Oh, it's not really peachy. All right. Oh, we're drawing and painting off screen again. <laughs> well, and that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you might also want to check out some of my other videos. And I hope I see you there. Bye.